Hello, Vince Campy here. Um, we're going to look at the just the real basic academic formatting. This is pretty much good for most of the papers. You're going to do middle school all the way through college. This is a good foundational uh, formatting. So at the top of the page, I have Microsoft Word open here. It works in any word processing uh, application. Um, I'm going to just put name here. Your professor or teacher will say like a first or a last name first, however they want that is fine. Then you probably have like a period. Maybe a class title um, and uh, title, title, how about that? All right, and um, then uh, maybe the teacher's name or something like that. Teacher's name. Now, the alignment at the side may be different. You may align it on the right or leave it on the left like that. Now, I have Arial set as my default font. For academic formatting, it's going to be Arial or Times, pretty much, or Times New Roman. Those are pretty much your choices. Don't worry about the creativity of it all. You can get creative somewhere else. But for academic formatting, this is what you want. So now I'm using Arial here. Maybe you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch to Times because that's a more classic approach. So here we have Times, and 12-point font is what you want, 12. Now if you make it bigger, 14, 16, Kind of looks like a little kid wrote it in crayons. Okay, it's really obvious you're trying to burn up some space. So, your academic formatting, you want to use a 12-point Times or Times New Roman um, to be really on the safe side. Okay, now, I always leave the Show Hide button on here so I can see if I've got extra spaces, if I've hit Return too many times. This is kind of a holds the code, and so it's good to uh, have that on there, and it does not print. Okay. Now I can hit return. A lot of times you'll put the title of the paper um, right there. So I'm going to hit return one more time to get myself a um, left aligned uh, thing there. And I'm going to click here. We'll go over to the center alignment. Align center. Your title is usually going to be in the center. Use these alignment buttons here. Do not hit spacebar to align your, uh, your titles. Now, this, the title, can be up to a 24-point font. So that's, the, that's where you get big. And sometimes this is where maybe a professor or teacher will let you have a little bit of artistic freedom uh, changing the font uh, in the title. Okay, now, for your body text, that's all you're writing, all the paragraphs and things that you're writing. Again, it's going to be a 12-point uh, Arial or Times font. Now, what I'm going to use for this document is called Greeking. And I'm going to go online here, go to Firefox. I'm just going to type in, in the search engine there, Greeking. OK, let me fix up because it doesn't look like it's finding what we want there. So there it is. OK, so Greeking, hit return. Now, here we are, the Greenkin Machine, Duck Island. This is a very good one. You click on there. I'm just using this to get a bulk of text so I can show you the formatting. That's what uh, many uh, page layout uh, programs and design programs use Latin. I'm not sure why it's called Greeking and it's Latin, but okay, that's what that is. Um, and uh, so I'm just going to get a bunch of text so it visually you can see what it looks like. And you can use this for different uh, things you're doing. So, classic Latin, begin with lorem ipsum dolor. That's a very classic uh, style of thing. I'm going to go, uh, let's see, paragraphs. Let's go, let's go five right now. Create output. Now it creates that Latin for me. So now, I'm just going to select this. And I'm going to copy it. Edit, copy. And then I'm going to quit Firefox because we don't need that anymore. Click right here and edit, paste. On Macintosh, it's Command V. On the Windows, it'll be Control V. Now we have not too much there, but we're going to double space, so it looks like it's fine. OK, now when you're doing academic formatting, you're going to have indents in your paragraphs. When you indent your paragraph, you don't need to put this extra space. This is more of a business setup right now, so we're going to change that. So I'm going to click right there, I'm going to hit Tab. You hit Tab once. 
and that is how you indent. Now I'm going to click here. I'm going to delete that extra return. Here, I'm going to hit tab once to indent that paragraph. I'm going to get rid of this space. You don't want any extra spaces. That's a great thing about having these show hide marks on, these backwards paragraph marks, is that you can see exactly what code, what you have in there. Now, I'm going to click right here. I'm going to hit tab again. There you have that. Look, and here's the end of another paragraph. Well, these two last are pretty short little paragraphs, so we're going to just combine those into actually we'll put them together with this last one. And maybe we'll make a new paragraph, let's say right there. Hit return. Okay, now I'm going to select this text and I'm going to make it a times. Oh, okay, there we are. Okay, times and 12 point font. Okay, now we have a times 12 point font. I know it looks a little bit small, but here's where the, the um, space comes in a little bit here. We're going to go to format. You have to select all the body text. Format, paragraph, same as in uh, as Windows, same thing. When you come up to here, paragraph, you go down to line spacing. Single, we're going to go to double. Okay, hit OK. Now, there that is. I'm just going to copy these two. Well, I don't need two. That's fine. That gets, gets the point across. See, now, usually, um, your professor or teacher, you can ask them whether they want the, the heading double-spaced or not. A lot of times, it's not double-spaced. And then just the body text is, uh, is double-spaced there. Okay. That's pretty much it, except for the borders around the edges. You want those to be one inch. Okay, so we're going to go to a format. When we're talking about formatting, we're just talking about how something looks. So whenever you format something, you're just changing the way it looks. So format, and we're going to look at the whole document here. You'll get a window like this. Now we're talking about the margins. Okay, we want the top to be one inch, bottom one inch left one inch, right one inch. Make sure the gutter is zero. Okay, if you have a one inch there, it's going to start your text another inch in. So one, 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 zero. And I just make that the default. So I click on default. Do you want to change the default settings for the document layout? Yes, I do. Yes, now it comes in as a default. It's always going to be the one inch borders that you need for your academic formatting. You never want to justify. When you justify text, here I'll show you. Right now, let's go over to the print preview here. This is what a mini version, this is what this looks like. This is uh, aligned over here, but this is a rough edge over here. When you justify, let me go over, select this text, and I justify it, it turns into a block. I'll go back here to print preview. See, now it's straight down there. It may look neat. That is not academic formatting. This is not. You can't justify in the academia. So I'm going to close that. You want the uh, align left. Okay. I'm going to put the title back in the center. Okay. Now we have double spacing, 12 point times. This is looking pretty good. This is what your paper should look like. Okay. Now teachers have seen and written hundreds of papers. They can tell in a, just a flash whether you've done it correctly or not. When a teacher sees a paper that looks like this, they are loving you because they know that you can write a paper and you know how to format a paper. When I was teaching English, I would take one look at a paper and pretty much be able to guess what grade that person's going to get just from the way they format it and just the way the paper looks. This, if I saw this, it would look like an A paper to me. I'd look at this and go, okay, this is a sophisticated person. They know what they're doing.